Hello, my name is X. Welcome back to Sky Adventures. Look at our little base. It's doing quite well. Last episode, we did all of this. We got a tick, a tier six uh, miner, and this is this is going crazy, crazy. So really, I just wanted the actual power, and this is only tier four still at the moment. And um, what I've done in the meantime, I've put four accuracy modifiers and basically all speed mod modifiers and the rate that this is going is insane look at it look at how much stuff it is producing i had to i had to upgrade can i can i do this i had to upgrade this with uh speed modifiers and stack upgrades because uh, it was too much i've also had to add loads of disk drives you can see um, and these are only 4Ks, that is why. I've only made 4Ks so far. Because this is just all a little bit much. And you can see I'm... I, it's it's too much. So I'm actually... I'm actually going to... Uh, let's just... There we go. Let's just calm it down. <laughs> let's just calm it down. I have so many resources in here now. I mean, look at it. It is bonkers. It is bonkers. There's way more than we need. And obviously, they're all in all form, which we haven't got any sort of system uh, to to counter. So we need to do a bit of that and some other stuff. So I've also made a pickaxe of the of the wyvern, wyvern, I never know how to say that, uh, because I got some in all of this, we got some draconium, so I thought, hey, let's get some of that, so I put it in here, and, you know, it was pretty simple to make with the old transmutation tablet, you can see I've got all of that, uh, and I also made a fluxo magnet, which is just nice because it meant I could get rid of the wither cage that we built with these two things, so that's what I've done, I've also just got a loot crate here, let's open that, uh, did we? Oh, we got a diamond exchanger. Okay, uh, let's just pop it into there. There we go. That is that learn. And I've noticed. I've noticed. If we go on here, you can see I've done that. I've got my diamond stuff. And um, on here, we actually have a lot of things that we can do. So structure frames we can do. So if I put in frame, we should get one of each of these. Two, three four, five, and lastly six. And you can see I've got a lot of EMC again. It's all good. After last episode, we were very, very near the end. So $5 bill, thank you. $10 bill, thanks. Ooh, a $20 bill, very nice. $50 bill. How much for this one? A $100 bill. Wow. And $200. Wow. We just got a lot of money. Like a lot of money. So what's this? What's this one? Uh, oh, I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> does it does it say? Oh, it's a hundred dollar bill. There we go. It's weird that that doesn't. Well, it does in there, but oh, there it is. Okay, so it just doesn't when you're in the wallet. How irritating is that? That the tooltip doesn't come up when you're in the wallet. That just makes it harder. That just makes it a lot harder to know what you're doing. So we also then have, if we do all, uh, oh, did I not do them? Oh, dang. I didn't add these into the old system. That is a little bit annoying. So I'd have to, uh, I'd have to make all of these again. <laughs> oh, that is a bit of, that is a bit of a shame because again, uh, we didn't get any loot crates for any of this. Uh, all the loot crates are for these. That is, little bit of a shame and then the the resource miners as well okay well that's fine we can always do that at another time we've got so much that actually i need to start going through uh, and doing chickens we've done a little bit of the chickens food we've done very little of metals we could actually start doing uh, but most of this is just yeah you don't get any loot crates so anyway what i would like to have a look at today is this so these are these are all of the, re well, repeatable tasks, there you go, can be repeated and you get money for this. And it just allows you to then buy some creative items. So uh, I was having a look and there's, there's some good ones like Honey's pretty good, uh, you, you Matter, very good, only a stone drum. So that's a very small thing, but it's you, you Matter. So you have to get into um, IC2 for that, obviously. And um, Ethanol, not too bad, Witch Water, 
very, very easy to make, but it's an iron drum and you only get $10. So uh, there's refined canola, which is pretty good, and then creosote oil. Uh, and creosote uh, is, is something that we can get fairly easy. So creo, there we go. Uh, is is not too hard normally coke oven but now the thermal expansion has the pyrolytic conversion ah yes and it just burning wood or coal or anything like that gets us creosote oil so this is what i was doing the chickens for oh we've still got a five dollar there we go let's do that and that let's do that and that um this is why i wanted to do the chickens so have i got any let's just get some uh, seed, isn't it? That chickens breed. That what's that is what chickens are doing. So let us have. I got a yeah smart chicken. Yeah, I've got I've got loads. I've got loads. There we go. One of you, and then let's get a, ourselves a rubbish log chicken. There we go. Boom boom. So I'm gonna put these in here, and I know. Oh oh, have I already done this? Oh, I've been really clever. Look at that. Oh, look at me. I'm patting myself on the back for that. That was a, a clever me. I'd totally forgotten that I'd done that. Right, let's just get rid of those. And uh, So I'm going to wait for these two to hatch and then breed them together. And basically, we, we won't get a 10-10-10 log chicken, but we will get uh, a chicken that is much, much nearer to those stats. So I'm going to try and get some log chickens, basically, and use those to get creosote oil. That is the plan. That is today's plan. Right, I am here at the mump farm and I'm just, I'm going to upgrade the farm basically because I don't think we need any of this anymore. Uh, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Let's just take that away, thank you. Um, we don't need that anymore. So let's take that away and let's take you away. There we go. Uh, what we're going to do now instead is I've got an ender tank here now. I've also got a, a vacuum hopper because I want, I would like some XP. This is what I've discovered. I don't have any XP. So we need to remedy that. And that has been, I'm guessing, picked up by all of that. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look in here. Let me should get this back. Tank. Yeah, there we go. No problem. Excellent. Uh, so I've got, I made a mob grinder from, uh, what is it? Draconic Evolution, of course. So I think if we put this here. Ah, now then. We have got that bit there. So actually, if I put this here, that should be okay like that. Yes. Uh, we need a bit of dirt. Uh, dirt. There we go. Just grab a little bit uh, and we should be able to put this can I just put it there yes okay good 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 so all of this should pick up and like it should totally pick up all of this essentially we should be we should be totally good and um, I just need to obviously power this which ain't no thing for us because is that the right way round yeah, I think I think this is the right way around. I believe it is. So the the hopper should the vacuum hopper should pick up everything and then all the items it sends down into our ender chest and then hopefully all of that it should send down there. Now what is this called? Dark clear glass. Uh dark. There we go. And the reason I need this is to upgrade all of our thermal uh, machines. So is that no, we're still let. Where are we letting in light? I presume here. Oh, that is irritating. That is really irritating. Uh, oh no! Hang on. Ha! Ah, I've got I've got the lights turned on. Ah, we are okay. We're okay. There we go. So that is now doing that. And yes, we're getting XP. Huzzah! There we go. We've got some Blizz powder now. Uh, that is snowball and XP. So that's why I needed the XP basically. To get some blizz powder so let's put that into there there we go and the reason i need that is thermal if we look up here and actually if we put upgrade in to get the signalum upgrade i need cryothium dust which is blizz and um snowball so that we should be able to do this now so what is all this this is called blizz blizz i just made it but i've already forgotten there we go uh, and I should be able to make 
that now, cryothium, yes, lovely stuff, let's learn it, there we go, bam, bam, um, and that is signalum and electrum, so sig, and elect, oh, and we've actually got the gear, lovely stuff, so we should be able to get this now, there we go, signal upgrade kit, and very importantly, we've got to teach it, there we go, and we can upgrade everything now, which is very nice, so the next bit that we need to do is Enderium, um, so, end, yeah, one, two, three, four, was it, something like that, uh, and Lumium, one, two, three, four, there we go, and what was the last thing that we needed? Pyrothium dust, which isn't that hard. It's easier. So there we go. Blaze, one, two, two. There we go. Lovely stuff. Let's put that in. There we go. Pyrothium. Learn it. How? Oh, did we already know it? We must have. Yeah. Ah, oh, we might have already known that. Well, there we go. Pretty easy. There we go. Get a Lumion gear. Let's teach it that as well. Because why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, and then that, boom, resonant upgrade kit, bam. So now we can, if we pop all that in and we put upgrade in, can basically get like a load of them. And it just means that we can, oh, I, I think you have to actually upgrade everything in, oh yeah, we do. Okay, so we have to <laughs> upgrade everything in, uh, in sequence, but that's fine. That is totally fine. I have started to set up uh, our creosol oil production. So I have redstone furnaces, they are fully resonant, and I have the pyrolytic conversion in. I need to probably put some speed upgrades as well. I think that would do as well. And then what we have here is a storage drawer with logs locked, and then I have conduit connectors. So they should basically get this out of here here, uh, insert them into these, and I don't know if we need to put like, uh, ah, maybe I need to put round robin on as well, so round robin basically just means that everything that is inserted gets distributed evenly, I might have to do that, I don't know if I have to do it in all of them, I'm not sure, or if I can just do it here and then it sort of does it for all of that. I'm going to have to test that because this is something that I haven't really messed around with. I also have fluid conduits. So the fluid conduits, uh, and they are, oh, hang on, are they not? Wait a second, are they not? Are they not? So this one, this one has that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, interesting. This one has that, but not here or here. Um... Why is that? Because that is quite a huge ah there it is. Okay, so man, I'm gonna have to do a lot of a lot of messing around, I think, to get all of this. Uh I already had done that. Okay, and you kinda can't really see that. That is a oh there there you can, okay. So Right, okay, so I'm getting distracted by doing that. I'm going to have to do that off camera. So I'm hoping, basically, logs will go in here, they will get turned into the creosote oil, and then the fluid conduits will take them out, and I'll set up a barreling system here. Then behind here, we've got all of the nesting pens where our log chickens will go. Uh, these, again, are hooked up to the item conduits, which will pull out the logs into here, and I set this to priority. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh... Oh, that is irritating. That is so irritating. Um, let's get that off. There we go. So I had set that. So no, not extract. Insert priority, let's say five or something. So it, the logs will put into here first. And then I've got a trash can for... I'm just going to trash the rest. That is on zero. There we go. So that should all do its thing. So I need to work out some of these things. Now, apparently breeding between like a 111 log chicken and a 10 10 10 smart chicken does not transfer as you can see i'm still just getting normal ones and i've i've done it you know with the um what are these called again the little nests yeah the egg nests as well and it doesn't work so i i presume it's been changed because smart chickens used to be able to do that that was sort of one of the points of smart chickens 
Uh, and if you've told me that in like the comments of one of my previous episodes, I'm I'm recording this before that one has come out. So don't think that I'm not listening to you guys or I'm just being boneheaded about it. Uh, I've just I'm about three episodes ahead of what appears on YouTube. So just bear that in mind when uh, when giving advice. If I don't do it, that's maybe because I've already done it. Uh, so what I've been doing, yeah, is just the the very standard, the 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 slow way up to ten ten ten. So I've got the what have I got? What is this? It's a five seven six at the moment. So grow them with seeds, and you can see the growing time goes down quite rapidly until you get to about nine seconds. There you go. Um, so we've got that, and we've got a four six six now. So I'm going to breed these two guys together. You and you. There we go. I've got an egg. And get you. And what have I got? A six, seven, eight. There we go. So slowly but surely. If you put a redstone lamp on, it, that the whole hatching thing goes a little bit quicker. And then, sorry to say, uh, don't look. There we go. Uh, we just get rid of those. And, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I forgot. I've made an extra little island here. Uh, so we're going to start making all of this a little bit nicer in the... The upcoming episode. So that's what I've been up to. So I need to work out all of this as well and see if this actually works. So I've had to adapt this a little bit because the fluid conduits just weren't doing what I wanted to. Like they were pretty much taking it out, uh, all the creosote oil, but then they stopped and it was a bit weird. So I've, I've had to put fluid duct uh, at the top and bottom. So there's a line coming underneath these like that into the drum there and now this is working and if you basically just put this one on round robin the extract one it will basically do that so it, it will filter all of the wood that is in here equally amongst all of these furnaces and i've got speed upgrades in all of them as well so this is working really rather well i'm just i've got one 10 10 10 log chicken right now so now we've got that, we can populate all these nests, and I might add some more as well. I'll I'll see how it goes. Now, on the end here, I've I've made a little contraption, and I've got, <laughs> I'm really proud of this because I'm not good. I'm not good at redstone or whatsoever. So what we have is basically a system to get a full one, and this is a full one with creosote oil. So it will break it and then place a new empty drum ready to be filled with creosote oil. Uh, and the way we've got this is we've got a comparator. So the comparator will, it can use redstone to sense how full it is. That is how that works. And what I've got here is a redstone torch. So that's, you can see it says power 15. And a comparator compares signals. I know that much. So basically this... It, it's it's comparing this to the power of 15. So once this is full, it will give that the power of 15, okay? And it will compare these, and it will say it's the same or more. And it's, in this case, it's the same. And it will then give a signal out here. That's how that works. I don't know if that made any sense, but when this is full, it gives out a power of 15. It's the same as that one, and that means it will set off a signal. So from here, it's only a simple matter of getting a block breaker. So with a little bit of delay with a chest behind it, just so that it picks stuff up and then a little bit more delay so that it obviously it needs to break it first and then place another block. So if we were to do that and let's actually, uh, that's the full one. There we go. If we put this here, you sh we should immediately, that should register as 15 and it should break it. This drum should end up in this chest and a new one should be placed. That's what should happen. There we go. That one is in there and that has been placed from here. All rather excellent. I can't believe this is working. I, I'm shocked. So that's just a little quality of life thing. I, if, you know, if this is, I don't think this will be hugely fast, but it will be fast enough for now. And what we can do just for now as well is come in here. And what I, what I did do, look at that. I did all of that as well, just to, you know, just to make us progress a little bit. I don't know if any of these we could do. Oh, we can definitely do a net. Look at that. 50 cents. 
Thank you so much for 50 cents. But what we can do as well is the reward... Nope, the repeatable quests. There we go. Iron drum of free or so oil. Uh, do I not... Wait. How... Yes, I've got I've got it in my inventory. Consumes item clicked. Why can I not? Iron drum, creosote oil. Um, why are you not doing it? Oh no! What are you kidding me? Creosote oil that is full. Iron drum. There's not another drum, is there? Drum. There are no other drums. That is an iron one. Revolver drum. Why is this not doing it? Why? Why? Oh, hang on. Ah, there you go. Is it worth one thousand investment to potentially make? Okay, so I need to make one thousand dollars first, and then that opens up. I get you. Okay, it's okay. Right, that's another chicken, and that is. This row, well, these two rows are seven, completely full now, which is excellent. Now, what I've done is I've put an extra draw here for the 10, 10, 10 eggs so that we could keep adding them if we want or require because it's not like a huge, like you can see, you know, it's, I think they drop wood like every five minutes or something. So obviously it will probably be better to have it every so often you can see every now and again you, one of these will fire up and probably we didn't need all of these frankly uh, at the moment at least but it's you know it's it's nice to have a little setup and because we've got all the um, emc in the world it's not a problem and we're there you go we're what a quarter of the way through a a drum and yeah i think i will add more chickens as we go along but what i have got is 10 100 dollar bills and i did that uh, just by doing all of these basically so i i did all of those and that just pushed us over the edge basically this is pretty much all of my money if we look in here you can see i've got what 20, 45 and some change pretty much so we are now spending $1000 $1000 to be able to make Fifty dollars at a time uh, from the crystal oil, which isn't like the fastest production, and that's probably a good one. I mean, this is the this is the thing is I don't know what the best thing that we could possibly make enzymes. I don't know what that is. That's three dollar bills. I mean, that's all rubbish. That's prob liquid XP is not too bad actually, but that's a see this is a reinforced large drum, so you can see how much that is. Uh, UU matter might be a good one to try and do one hundred dollar bills, maybe, maybe, but we have to get into IC two. But I think for now, crystal oil will be fine. So ten one hundred dollar bills, bam, done, and now we should be able to do this one. Have I still got it on me? No, uh, did I put it back? Yes, I did. Let's do that. Let's at, at least let us make $50 back. Iron drum, yes. There we go. You got to spend money to make money. So let's pop that in. And now we've got like a ton of loot chests. So let's put them in order. So we've got the common, I think. No, rare, epic, and legendary. So let's have a look. Uh, experience solidifier, okay. Empowerer, already have one. Upgrade stacks, well, okay. And, ooh, what's this? A disenchanter from Draconic Evolution. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, a crafting grid. Is that it? Did we just... I thought we had two of those. Okay, two loot crates. Ooh, a flux capacitor. That's quite nice. And resident conversion kit. Okay, well, that is actually quite nice because that just means whatever we... um, Whenever we put... A new thermal machine down we can immediately upgrade it to resonant status so that doesn't that doesn't and that doesn't none of these things do that aha that does lovely stuff lovely stuff so that wasn't you know the hugest of things and the flux capacitor yeah let's also put that in here as well and uh, that's learnt that that'll be good so there we go we've got we've got a way of making some dollars dollar redos and um, very passively so 
how much are we up to? Almost, almost 90. So it's slow, but I'm going to let this AFK in between episodes. And hopefully, you know, we might make another $30. And then we can we can progress a little bit farther. But that is all I've got time for for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, a like or comment is very much appreciated. As is hitting that subscribe button if you fancy. I've been Actor. This has been Sky Adventures. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.